Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Volcker Report. This report is an end of day report for trading on Wednesday, June the 22nd, 2016. You're looking at a chart here of the US dollar index. As you can see, we're having weakening uh, happening in this market. Once again, market is in a positive pulse wave, but you can see that momentum is coming off and the dollar remains under pressure ahead of the Brexit. Okay, looking at the uh, intraday chart, you can see it remained weak and pretty much flat all day. Tried to get a little bounce here and then prices came back down yet again. So the market is still looking weak, has strong resistance at 94 now. Uh, so this market is still trading well under par and the outlook is that it will continue to do so. And once again, here's your intraday Bitcoin. For those of you who have been following uh, this Volcker report now, uh, hopefully you've done yourself the favor of checking in on the website to get the weekly pulse waves. Had you done that, you would have noticed that there was a crash alert for this week uh, for Bitcoin. Uh, these alerts are generally posted. Uh, I try to get them up like uh, on Sunday because the futures markets and Forex start trading between 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time on Sunday nights so I try to get this stuff posted in there you know where you can see it at the latest it'll be uh, up on Monday morning but at any rate the uh, the subscribers and uh, to the channel know to go to the website to look to for those updates and the weekly pulse waves were posted uh, well in advance warning you of the crash that was coming and since then this market has fallen well over a hundred dollars uh, so far and today is only Wednesday and we have dropped uh, well below a hundred bucks in price uh, in this market so it's just been you know to be honest with you it's on its way to 200 bucks now uh, drop in this market just when everyone was celebrating last week because it was hitting new all-time highs they just figured it would continue to go up nothing goes up in a straight line and as I showed you if it does it's fake it's not real okay so here it is just like the US dollar today here's your Bitcoin started up here and as you can see it went sideways for quite a while and then here you are alright this is what's happening this is how it works this is how it looks okay intraday they crashed it down that's what you have in the Bitcoin so that was a Bitcoin here's the dollar <laughs> you see the Bitcoin you see the dollar they are moving together guess what else crashed intraday today look familiar this is your silver again they have been simultaneously cr attacking gold silver and Bitcoin all right they're moving together with the dollar because they're trying to replace it like I've been trying to tell you all along that's that's the game plan here all right so here's the dollar here's silver you've seen Bitcoin and here's your silver chart same thing now mind you they didn't get it below 17 but they got it they got it down close 1707 before it bounced back up now and here we are you know chilling at 1720 but even still that's not really much of a bounce that's still mad weakness setting up for a, a drop a precipitous drop coming all right here's gold same story you open here you close down here all right that's how they have been doing this they're not stopping they're keeping this going all right as you can see it's being attacked your metals are being attacked meanwhile your stock market is being supported it's floating on thin air look at this all right they're keeping it afloat how is that possible how is that possible with no volume and yet this thing is staying afloat that's because the machines are keeping it done that's how they do it 
the machines or keeping the market afloat. All right. Can't find a bid to save its life, but yet here it is floating sideways, totally keeping it afloat. Look at that. It can't break out and they won't let it break down. They're just keeping it afloat. They have to. They don't have a choice. This is the state of affairs we're at. This is the S&P 500. Look at that. It's going nowhere. Flat. But looking at that petrodollar, though, looking at that oil, look at the oil. Let that oil float up, though, before it gave up the ghost and matches this dollar. <laughs> Very interesting how the oil is moving with the dollar and the metals and the Bitcoin collapse. Very interesting set of circumstances. Just by looking at it, it'll be difficult to tell what their true agenda really is. But all I can say at the end of the day is just remember to follow the money. Follow the money. Our opinions mean very little. Just follow the money and you will be fine. Also, do yourself a favor. Look at look at those pulse, those weekly pulse waves. If you're not using the weekly pulse waves, I don't know how you're surviving. You must be on the sidelines because there's no way you can survive and trade this madness and this incredible manipulation. There's no way to compete with the machines unless you know the algorithm of the machines. That is the only way that you can compete with them. Uh, right now, ahead of the Brexit, there's uh, increasing margins and things of that nature. There's only one way to truly protect yourself and yet be in a position to make money if the Brexit goes left. All right, and what I mean by that is if they surprise everyone and they leave, that is going to really disrupt the euro. You're going to want to know how to be able to play that without getting your face ripped off. They're going to be greedy people. They're going to attempt to do some things and they're going to get destroyed. I can show you exactly how to do this the right way. If you're in those situations, you're one of those people, you have a portfolio you're looking to protect, just remind yourself that we can get through this, but you're going to have to be smart and you're going to need help. So if you need help, hit me up and you'll see what the black ops room is doing and how we're going about doing things all right so remember bulls make money bears make money but pigs get slaughtered so remember take what you can and give nothing back